Come one, come all to another Tuesday edition of Netlink Daily. Most come for the antics, but some stay for the news. The Jack bids you welcome. Stay seated. You might be in for a treat. What was that? I have no idea. I must have been a circus ringmaster in a previous life. Holy guacamole, NVIDIA has done it! They've successfully blurred the line between desktop gaming and notebook gaming. How, you might ask? They shoved a desktop GTX 980 into several gaming notebooks. That's right! The enthusiasts out there will be happy to hear that these new gaming GPUs and notebooks do not have the M denomination. NVIDIA wanted to push the performance envelope and let me tell ya, it seems more like they shoved the envelope. Pew, pew, pew. The new achievement also brings 7 gigabits per second memory, 4 to 8 phase power supplies, overclocking headroom, fan control, and unlocked GPUs and CPUs. Not only are these notebooks uh, overclockers delight, but these notebooks are capable of supporting a full on VR experience because they actually meet the recommended specs for the Oculus Rift. These notebooks will be available from such brands like Asus, Aorus, Clevo, Clevo? Clevo, MSI, and more. Plus, some of these will be available with G-Sync display technology. Oh my god. But that Asus water-cooled one looks a bit overkill. But now what do I do? Continue to look for parts to build a new gaming desktop or just buy one of these bad boys? <sighs> First world problems. What do you guys think of a full-spec GTX 980 and notebooks? Leave a comment. And in more hardware news, Samsung launches their new 950 Pro SSDs. These are the first consumer SSDs that use a VNAND on an M.2 PCIe device. The 950 is also the first Samsung drive to use the NVMe interface, so you can expect less power consumption and a longer lifespan. The 512 gig model is set to be warranted to write up to 400 terabytes of data and read at 2.5 gigabytes per second and write at 1.5 gigabytes per second. The 256 gig model and 512 gig model will be priced at 200 and 350 respectively and will hit the shelves next month. Now the main attraction <laughs> Gearbox, the people who brought us the Borderlands series, have just opened their signups for the closed technical test for Battleborn, their FPS MOBA. The Enterprise D construction project is an Unreal Engine based virtual tour of the Enterprise from Star Trek The Next Generation. The artist Jason B is looking to reproduce all 42 decks of the ship. A new patent has been issued to Apple for a D shaped headphone connector. No, Apple. No. Don't fix it unless it's broken. Gosh. Basically, they're taking the standard 3.5mm connector and shaving off a side. What's next? Reinventing the shoelace? <laughs> that actually might happen. Power laces, alright! Rumors are saying that the next Samsung Galaxy S7 will be replacing Gorilla Glass with Turtle Glass. Turtle Glass is supposed to be stronger than Gorilla Glass. Hmm. Turtle, turtle. And the new Hitman game from IO Interactive will be delayed and launched in March 2016. Seems like everyone is delaying everything nowadays. <sighs> I just wanted to get my Hitman on. Sources for all today's stories will be linked in the NCX forum post down below. Naharajua! There is no segue for that. I, I don't even know what it means. But NCIX is giving away an ASUS ROG Maximus 8 Hero motherboard. All you have to do is subscribe to our newsletter for a chance to win this month's sub and win prize. If you're already subscribed, just claim at least one bonus newsletter points and you'll be automatically entered. This is for use in Canada only, so sorry. But click here or down in the description for more details. Alright, that's it for Netlink Daily. Click here for previous videos. Hopefully the thumbnails are there this time. Keys. Follow us on social media over here where you can read about my rants about birds pooping on my car. There's... There's just so much poop sometimes. <sighs> if you'll excuse me, I gotta clean it off now. Stupid birds.